Uh, That's another great movie, man. Oh yeah, I believe we didn't. We do an episode. You did. I think you did an episode many, many like like in the like in the first double digits, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, because that's what it, that's what turned me on to the the podcast was uh, that post about it because we talked about the black light post, mm-hmm. the black light scene, the hockey rink, the hockey. Yeah, again, iconic, dude. New Line Cinema killing it. Yeah, if, any, if you haven't seen that movie, you gotta go watch. You gotta watch that. Running scared. Is it on anything? Right now it's free on Tubi. What? Running scared. No way. Yeah. So if you don't have that, if you don't have the film, yeah, check that one out, dude. That's a great film. But anyways, underrated too. Not a lot of people know about it. Yeah. It's a great Paul Walker performance. Yeah. Very for Omega. Mm-hmm. Everybody is just on. Oleg. Yeah. It's, it, it's a really good. Um, it's a really good gangster film, yeah. but also it's visually like cool. Chaz, Chaz, dude, that's yeah. right. He Paul and Terry. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, check out that one. Running scared, free on Tubi right now. You should just put that in the rec. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, uh, I'd have to say like I really like Liz's character by default. But, um, yeah, dude, I think Abe Sapien should be, like, an honorable mention. Because he kind of, like, he kind of holds everything together for those fools. He kind of helps them out when they need help. You know? Mm-hmm. He, he's, like a, he's like a prophet. He can see everything. He can, like, he's like a fortune teller. All he has to do is touch something. And he can see everything that has happened through anything. So, yeah, I think he's really, he's like a really good, strong character, too. Who did his voice? There's just some. Um, honestly, I'm not sure, but I don't think he wanted to take, he refused to take credit. Uh, they wanted to give him credit for the whole character. And so I think he wanted to go uncredited uh, oh. because, cause out of respect for Doug Jones. Yeah. Um. That's crazy. But uh, for the record, I forget his name. Okay. But yeah, I think he wanted to be uncredited. But going back to your question, I don't think I got to answer. You said favorite character, right? Favorite character. Who is your favorite character? Um, I I, I kind of liked, um, what was his name? The guy that they transferred over to take care of Hellboy was pretty rad. The younger guy? Yeah, John Myers. John Myers was um i feel like he was cool because he was put into this like fantastical yeah. scenario yeah and he's just struggling to just do his best you so know? it's crazy you bring that up i watched like uh that did i watched like a two hour uh behind the scenes on hellboy oh okay and he, and he was actually written in because he's he, he there was no john myers before mm-hmm. so what he was written in as the viewer let's say you've never you've never um knew about hellboy mm-hmm. and you were going to go to see this movie mm-hmm. john myers was that person who would give you an intro uh, to the to the world so they made him specifically to give a rundown of who hellboy is who abe sapien is kind of like you know oh. we're not going to go directly into the movie but we're going to bring a character on to see, to give you like a rundown okay that's so, smart so he was written in and then also del toro written, wrote him in to create a love triangle between red and uh liz, liz and Maya. yeah so it can so it can also like it, that's where the rom-com comes in you know where he's like spying on him throwing rocks at him gets all pissed off like and it's funny i i loved how going back to hellboy's character himself is that he's he's very much self-conscious because mm-hmm. he knows that he's different yeah but that he's in love with this um she has powers but she's she's a fire pass, chick. she passes as a as normal as normal yeah you know, more than him at least yeah that's true i never thought about that and so and he even makes that he he he, he kind of takes jabs at himself where he's like if i could change all of this mm-hmm. like i would you know what i mean and so there's that th- th- this hes- why... hesitation between him and liz and that's why myers coming in mm-hmm. and being this kind of like good looking normal dude, dude yeah yeah and that's why hellboy is like oh fuck like you know i don't got a chance yeah and it becomes, there's like this dynamic also he you would think he's really old but the dude uh how do they say like uh think of reverse dog years 
Yeah. So for every seven years, so he's it's only mo- twenty something. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's like only twenty years in that sixty year span. He's only aged about like he's like twenty twenty one, and that's why he's so snarky and has that kind of attitude like a teenager still. Yeah. His dry humor. He's and, always always that's why he's always lifting and like yeah smoking. Uh huh. He's very like I don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> he's kind of rated our raft, dude. Mm-hmm. He's kind of red. He's red, dude. I was about to say, you think that fool ever had sex before? I don't know. Because he does, like, make out with Liz. <laughs> and then, but from then on, but you think Liz was his first? You think, you think he shoots liquid hot magma? Well, remember, he was, like, cooped up in that, like, chamber with all his cats and shit. Like, hidden, <laughs> hidden away from <laughs> the world. Right. With only, like, a payday bar every yeah. once in a while. The, you're the baby roof. Baby roof. Shout out to the baby Ruth, like the yeah. uh, uh, pro- product placement there. Those are really good, dude. <laughs> I really love baby Ruths. Baby Ruths and the uh, payday bars, but yeah, dude. I was about to say maybe that's because you know he doesn't have anybody that's like there's no hell girl or like hell woman. Yeah, he's alone. Um, and he's you know instead of destroying this world like he's supposed to, mm-hmm. he's you know because of Broom and his connection to Broom. He's like turned humanized. On, yeah, turned on our yeah. side and decided to be, which is like the most punk rock shit ideology you could ever have. Yeah, you're summoned to kill the world, and he's all like, "No, nah, I'm too cool to do that." Shit. I don't want to do that shit. He's, all, I want to just live with cats and smoke cigars, lift weights, and eat chocolate bars. <laughs> and that's what uh, that's what's crazy about the end is Rasputin it kind of does brainwash him for a bit. Yeah, he calls him by his real name, uh-huh. which I can't even pronounce. <laughs> yeah, I, I've tried to. And his horns grow back. Mm-hmm. And a big, I, I love that little detail where he like shaves down his horns on purpose to, yeah. look, to fit in more. You know what's funny is um, anybody because I showed this movie to Linda, and we watched it on the projector, and she was she absolutely loved it, and um, also because it's Del Toro, it's a Del Toro film. I showed her Pan's Labyrinth too; she loved it. Um, she always thought Hellboy had goggles on. Really? Right above uh-huh. his head. So it looked like it was just the two circles. Yeah. So she thought that was just goggles on his head. Well, when you look at the graphic novels, because of their, they're in that style, mm-hmm. it's, it would be easy to, to think that. Yeah. You know? So um, when she saw that he would actually fucking sand him down and shit <laughs> yeah. she was like oh i get it now you know because the horns or whatever but then when they grew back and, and you know he was gonna like destroy the earth or whatever that's where i felt like okay this fool this is the real hell boy he was like naked mm-hmm. he didn't have any clothes on yeah because they do the um the, that uh what the future should have been where he like yeah. opens the portal summons and, him to uh-huh. the seventh seal of I don't even know what his name is. Like the seventh god of chaos. Mm-hmm. So there's six more before him. Mm-hmm. Imagine. <laughs> and it's like this huge uh, Cthulhu squid. Exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, space squid octopi. I don't even know. But it's like ridiculous. And it's like entrapped in this um, obsidian crystal f- gold fucking case. Glass case thing. And um, it's just really fucking bizarre that uh, the Nazis were trying to, like, summon real shit like that. I mean, it's it's still mythos or it still hasn't been 100% proven because a lot of that shit was just destroyed, you know, mm-hmm. or even just classified as uh, para-abnormal. <laughs> but uh, I can only imagine what the fuck they did back then. You know, especially if they're if Del Toro is coming up with stories, you know, who knows what the fuck they did? What if they really did that? It's true. Yeah, but the fact that the Nazis were doing this—that this is this was their ultimate goal: world domination and uh, opening up hell portals. Yeah, which is um, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean. <laughs> It's kind of like Inglorious Bastards territory where they go back and they rewrite history where they're like, what if these guys were so desperate that they turned yeah. to, to to this type of power mm-hmm. to 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 dominate to to win the war, thus like changing you witchcraft know, or yeah. like magic or uh-huh. like supernatural. Luckily, I feel like we're at least in this story we're there mm-hmm. and we stop it and destroy the portal 
but in turn we get Hellboy as, Hellboy. as this kind of like anti-hero who, yeah. who, who um, conveniently ages slower so he's like able to protect for a really long time you know so do you think if Hellboy said fuck it and he never and he just um, he just went through with whatever Rasputin wanted him to do right then and there it, he he would have just been ruled on earth for this long as like a minion you know what I'm saying like they would have destroyed earth and everybody on earth right yeah and so Hellboy would have been living on earth as Hellboy and that's what it um that's I, that's I, what they want that's what the in terms I feel like yeah he would have just been like the the keeper of 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 the the ruins yeah cuz I'm like how the fuck are the nazis going to try to control hellboy you know mm-hmm. like no yeah th- yeah that's true maybe well, they, like they they were going to kill themselves too by doing that obviously that rasputin did you be, know because if say their 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 plan worked yeah how are they going to control that monster the yeah. monster is going to turn on them eventually unless rasputin were to work with them and they would have a deal you know because he has the the, the henchmen mm-hmm. that survive the begin in the beginning yeah and they're there until you know they re- they resurrect rasputin 60 years later the chick and the and sand the, dude uh-huh. <laughs> yeah um so i'm not sure maybe they had some kind of unspoken agreement that's really just bizarre that's crazy and that shows you the com the complex i don't know if that's in the mythos of the it's probably in the, com- in the yeah, comic maybe right? more yeah what was what was the comic released on was it on image uh dark horse comics which, which is, is like dc or something i think it's a br- off branch of 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 dc let me uh like if for some odd reason one day they wanted to be like hey we're gonna bring hellboy into our universe whose universe would they bring it into is he is his, his own entity universe like does he ever is there was there ever like uh do you if you know of any crossovers because I'd love to see like Hellboy fight Spawn. Well, I know, I know Hellboy didn't have his official release. Uh, I think he was he he made his debut like in the late eighties under in in different comics. Yeah, um, and then he finally got his own story arc. But he was like he did he was pretty much in a crossover where mm-hmm. he jumped in and out of different comics and and that's when we were exposed to him okay first before we knew what he really was okay because i remember kind of like the thing that really stuck out to me as a kid seeing hellboy like just in and out of comics was the his his logo the iconic yellow with the black outline logo and like bullet holes through it and shit mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it says hellboy um, just that, but I just never knew where to find him or like if there was a specific comic, but it would be really cool to see him in a different universe, you know, that would be really awesome. I, I think I should, I, I think I, I have no intention of watching it, but maybe I should watch the new one, dude. So Dark Horse is actually an independent. Oh. So they're their own entity of comics. That's actually pretty dope. I was uh, I was a little confused because I know Vertigo, like Vertigo, put out Watchmen and and, mm-hmm. and, and V for Vendetta and the kind of s- subculture, more adult adult stuff comics. under Vertigo. Yeah, uh, but that's a branch off of DC. Re- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know, I know V's from DC for sure. Dang, dude, that would be a really cool mashup. You know, going back to like the Roger Rabbit theory of just having all those fools in one universe. Mm-hmm. But I don't, you know. That's a reach for all those things. <laughs> but that's cool that Hellboy is his own entity. That's, he, he, he's like his own universe. Maybe that's why they were trying to bring back the new Hellboy because it's kind of like, you know, irrelevant now or like losing its spunk. Yeah. But it, it's interesting that they would try to bring back something that was so uh, kind of frowned upon by, by um, mainstream culture just because it's called hellboy yeah you know so you have like these uh people saying it's sacrilegious mm-hmm. and, and 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 um certain theaters around the world when it was playing would refuse to play it like they wouldn't play it on easter and all these crazy elements that 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 kind of held it back from yeah. the success that it could have had you know because it has to do with hell yeah and and religion. that's offensive to people yeah religion yeah. and um 
it's a sensitive kind of subject, you know. Yeah. 